Satya Nadella says Windows PCs will have a photographic memory feature called recall that will remember and understand everything you do on your computer by taking constant screenshots. How do we introduce memory, right? Photographic memory into what? Motherfucker can't even keep his uh, face. You know, he's, he's laughing. Look at this. Right, photographing memory into what you do on the PC. And now we have it. So it's called recall. It's not keyword search, right? It's semantic search over all your history. And it's not just about any document. We can recreate moments from the. Look at how happy he is. <laughs> Look at that. Any document. We can recreate moments from the past, essentially. Here's how it works Windows constantly takes screenshots of what's on your screen. Nice, nice. I love that already. I love that already then uses a generative AI model right on the device, along with the NPU, to process all that data and make it searchable, even photos. I got to try it out. I searched brown leather bag. It came up in visual search. There's no place on this page that it says brown leather bag. It just knows because it sees this brown leather bag. There could be this reaction from some people that this is pretty creepy. There could be. I mean, some, a few people here and there could think that this could be a little bit creepy and a little bit uh, uh, invasion, invasive of your privacy, you know? <laughs> a little bit. On leather bag. There could be this reaction from some people that this is pretty creepy. Microsoft is taking screenshots of everything I do. Yeah, I mean, that's why that you can only do it on the edge, right? So this is and then did you hear the laughter edge right so this is we really do it on the edge you can only do it on the edge that you can only do it on the edge right so this is like you know you can't, you have to put two things together this is my computer this is my rec oh really because it sure as hell doesn't feel like that anymore <laughs> only with the updates i don't know if, if, if you guys are uh, familiar with uh, windows motherfucker forces you to update the only option it will give you is like, yeah, you can postpone it a week. But after that, I will update your computer. You have no choice, you know? This is my computer. This is my recall. Uh, and it's all being done locally. My ass locally. My recall. Uh, and it's all being done locally. You trust that motherfucker's face. Look at this. Locally, huh? Locally. So basically now we won't have privacy on our own computer anymore. For some reason, this feature is very wanted by people. Everybody in the comment section is really loving it. Not. The final nail in the coffin for Microsoft when its whole user base moves over to Linux. Uh, what is this guy saying? Is asking me about Microsoft's announcement of Recall, a product eerily similar to a product we launched a year and a half ago called Rewind. So when we started Rewind, we knew that either what we're doing was a good idea or a bad idea. If it was a bad idea, we'd fail. If it was a good idea, it was only a question of when, not if, companies like Microsoft or Apple would launch something similar, or in some cases, exactly the same. So we certainly saw this coming. And what I think about when I think about this is, first of all, it, it's very validating. Uh, you know, it's, it's a bit, bit flattering. They say imitation is the finest form of flattery. But more than anything, I realized the uh, analogy that I drew to the history of technology. If you look at any major breakthrough technology, it goes through these cycles of often the first mover comes out with something break, breakthrough, uh, it attracts a lot of attention and interest. You know, think back to the very first iPhone and almost inevitably a year, year and a half, and actually uh, in iPhone's case, about a year and a half after it was available, BlackBerry launched BlackBerry Storm, which was in many ways a shameless imitation of the iPhone. That obviously uh, flopped and failed and you don't talk much about BlackBerry these days. And I think a big reason why is it's easy to imitate the outside of a product, imitate what looks like uh, the, the way the product should work, but what you can't imitate is the learnings, what took to actually build the product, the innovation, the core problems you're trying to solve. 
you know, we've evolved a lot in the last year and a half from the learnings we've had from our users. In fact, just recently, about a month and a half ago, we completely launched a new product called Limitless that took everything we learned from Rewind, invested it in an entirely new architecture that we think is fundamentally better. In many ways, we actually felt Rewind, the approach we took, that we took, and that Recall is taking now, we found it really limiting. And we knew that users really cared about being able to access their data from any device. They, they cared about being able to use the best AI models, and they really cared about unlimited storage. And at the same time, if we could deliver on those guarantees and give them the same guarantees they had of privacy that they had with a local app like Rewind, but in the cloud, then that would be a breakthrough. So that's what we launched. It was the Confidential Cloud. We launched about a month and a half ago. Confidential Cloud. Get the fuck out of here. I thought this guy was about to say, hey, listen, we were the first one to do this feature. And you know what? It sucked. It's a really bad thing. And now we realized we did something really bad with this thing. And he's like, no, we got a better feature. Uh, it's stored on a confidential cloud. So your whole computer, what you're doing on your computer is still very private on our cloud server, which we don't really touch. We promise you, it's very confidential over here. It's like uh, nobody see, can have access to it. Anyways.